Hi all, I'm going to be talking to you today about health and human development units one and four. I'm Miss Mays and I'm one of the health and human development teachers at Upper Yarra Secondary College. So health and human development provides students with a broad understanding of health and well-being that reach far beyond the individual. We speak about health and well-being and how important it is um, to yourselves, to families, communities, nations and the global society. The reason it's so important to study health and human development is to un understand and gain, um, I guess, your own life choices and how life is experienced by many different by many different people and how that's different how you can help others understand what they're going through and understand the relationship of society and um, individual growth so we're gonna have a look at units one to four um, in a little bit more detail we're going to look at units one and two first so unit one is uh called understanding health and well-being and that looks at health uh, perspectives and influences focusing on the five uh dimensions of health which is physical social mental emotional and spiritual then we look at health and nutrition um, and why nutrition is so important um, and what it does for health, our health and well-being. And then youth health and well-being uh, is more student-led and focuses on the youth inequalities in Australia. Unit two, we look at developmental transitions um, of the whole lifespan. So that's from conception to death. And we look at the different milestones of physical, intellectual, social and emotional. Then uh, we look at healthcare in Australia. So that looks at the Medicare, the PBS system, and also the private health insurance and how that's laid out in Australia. Then we're going to look um, into units three and four. Unit three looks at understanding health and well-being in Australia. So again, we pull from those five dimensions of health and well-being and how that's important. Then we look at promoting health and well-being and how it's promoted um, in Australia and through different countries. Then we go into unit four, which uh, looks at it widens our view a little bit and looks at health and well-being in a global context context so that's in um, the whole of the world and we look at low middle and high income countries and how that health and well-being uh, differs in those countries then in the last area of study we look at health and the sustainable development goals so they're the united nations um, sustainable goals and we look at how they interrelate between each other career opportunities we look at pathways for further stuttering further studying and also looking at career opportunities so if you're looking at health and physical education teaching nursing health science dietitian nutritionist and exercise and sports science this would be a fantastic grounding knowledge for that and then some career opportunities um, would be nurse paramedicine or a par paramedic health promotion officer counsellor or fitness instructor if you're interested in any of those um, this would be a fantastic opportunity to get that grounding knowledge and um, really delve into um, things that are really really interesting for ourselves and for others